Hello, dear friends. This is Lady Sylvia coming to you again with another of my um, collecting videos, some strange and unusual things that I collect. Um, these are really beautiful. They were made in the 1930s. These bracelets are actually made of chrome and it doesn't tarnish like silver. And uh, the gold one is a gold wash over the chrome popular buckle bracelet. Beautifully uh, filigreed. And this was made by a, a guy named E.L. Weed, W-E-E-D. He was a designer for the J.J. White Jewelry Company, circa 1930. The mark inside let's see, where is it? It's usually in the back somewhere, is a uh, W inside of a triangle. And uh, he worked on these designs of filigree with uh, rhinestones. Yeah, it's right in there, right in the back. And it's there on almost all of them. I think it's on all of them, in fact. Um, this one is the only gold-toned one. This is a gold over the chrome. This one has the both of them, gold and the chrome silver. Very different, very unusual. And I've seen this one with a blue stone or a purple stone. Again, the mark is right in the back with a patent number. They are beautiful on course, during the time when people, you know, during the war when there were shortages of metal, this was a great costume piece. Really looks beautiful on. And then um, this piece, another buckle style. Beautifully filigreed, look at that. This I purchased at the Ritz-Carlton. Um, it was in Northern California. Um, I think north of Morro Bay, there is a Ritz-Carlton. And I think every sunset, a guy comes out and plays the bagpipes. Um, but anyway, they had a beautiful gift shop in the lobby, and I purchased this there. And again, the mark of J.J. Uh, White jewelry. And none of the rhinestones are missing, which is wonderful. This one has a few rhinestones missing. One right there. Still a very beautiful buckle style. Look at that. That's really beautiful. You lift up, you put your wrist inside, and there's the mark with the patent number. I haven't seen too many of these around. Maybe you have if you're out hunting. Um, but I haven't seen a lot of them. When I started collecting, I began looking everywhere for them. Here's one of my favorites. This is the gold and silver. Again, the buckle style with a little buckle uh, design there. And flowers and leaves. Very, very beautiful. Again, you lift it up and the uh, designer's mark is right there with the patent. Uh, number for that particular bracelet style. They are very beautiful and they, like I said, do not tarnish as silver does because these are chrome. That's pretty amazing. When I think of chrome, I think of car wheels and uh, car hubcaps. I don't think of jewelry, but that was an amazing way to accomplish the beautiful look of silver when uh, minerals were, metals were um, hard to come by during the war period. So this is a great design expression 
I think they're very, very Art Deco. And um, the lace and style is really beautiful and elegant. Anyway, my friends, thanks for watching. And let me know if you've seen these or you have one yourself. And um, I wish you a wonderful day. God bless you all. Bye-bye.